and we're just discussing. Thank you, Sage. Welcome, welcome. Sorry. I'm sorry, that's project. so rude. <laughs> that, that recorded voice is so rude. I'm so sorry. I forget every time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. I was hovering over the record button. I was, and then it was recorded. I was like, did I click it? And then I was like, oh no, we have fantastic Sage here backing me up. So perfect. <laughs> so sorry. Don't be sorry. It. It's you're awesome. Um, <laughs> okay, welcome to our open hour. I'm Janae Andres, your Salt Community Manager and host for the hour. So we are going to dive into our community open hour. Um, we're excited. We were just going over um, the best pens. So Wayne was waxing eloquent on fountain pens. We've all learned a lot. <laughs> um, we really just should start recording beforehand so people watching this after the fact don't miss the, the pre-party but if you want the pre-party it's a lot of fun just uh just join us live when you can okay now we have a good time um if you want to be connected with anything salt project related visit us at saltproject.io anytime everything's there um working group information our uh, what else is there our calendar is there our blogs are there our branding is there i don't know everything's there go look at it our repos are there um all the things all the things are there and if you would like to contact us directly we're always on slack we're in a bunch of other places too but we are also at salt project at vmware.com so you can email us there and also if there's a subject that you want to discuss in open hour remember this is your hour so we give you a few updates from our end but really this is about hearing from you guys what you want to talk about, ask about. Um, and so we're happy to prepare any demos ahead of time that you'd like to see, um, hit on topics that you'd like to hit on. But email us ahead of time or just bring it up while you're here. So saltproject at vmware.com. We're here to listen. So um, the agenda today is pretty similar um, as it typically is. So we'll go through our general updates. We'll hit on our release timeline and then it will be your time. So we'll keep it pretty brief so that you guys can have as much time as possible. I know we've got a bunch of people here today, so we wanna make sure we give you guys all the time. Um, we've got a pretty full house. So general updates. Um, we have our virtual meetup next month. Well, it's this month now, cause it's May. When did that happen? It's May 5th somehow. And yes, I've had the, the May song from Camelot stuck in my head all week as I always do the first week of May. So. Um, it is not suitable for work, so I did not officially recommend it, but it is stuck in my head. So <laughs> I love musicals. So the May song from Camelot stuck in my head because it's May. And on May 19th, we will be having our virtual meetup. We do it every third Wednesday of the month at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. Yes, I fixed the slide. I think it was wrong for like two weeks in a row. Um, so it is, it is accurate now. So 5 p.m. Mountain Time. And I have some really exciting news. We are going to be doing a virtual meetup in June that matches the time zone for APJ for Asia Pacific time. So we're really excited to be able to facilitate that. So we're looking at doing that in June. We don't have details yet. Um, we'll be going over kind of config management 101, um, but, but focusing on um, that time zone. So we're excited to expand into those different areas um, and we're looking forward to it. So I will share more details as we have them, um, but just keep that on your radar. We're really excited and looking forward to that. Our virtual meetup for May, um, we're probably going to be doing something around working groups. And so stay tuned for details, but we're, we're really excited about it. We've been wanting to do this for a couple of months and um, don't miss this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. So a lot of fun with work with uh, meetups going on. So pay attention, give us feedback. Um, hopefully these, these times are working. Um, we're looking forward to it. So, okay. So as far as events, um, today we have our docs clinic streaming this afternoon as we do every other Thursday. Actually, he canceled that today. We'll oh, I even take double that back up. I must have missed that. Okay. It so was kind of a last minute change. So sorry about that. Okay. I was, I double checked it like 15 minutes ago. Um, oh, and you know, I canceled it and it's still there. 
That's fun. Oh, weird. Thank you, Calendar. Thank you. Calendar. For your help. Bane of our calendar. <laughs> okay, Doc's Clinic not streaming today. Canceled today. But we do have our Twitch stream with Tyler tomorrow. So if you want to get more connected with Item Cloud, um, that's becoming a really popular stream. And he does it three times a week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Mountain, you can jump in and um, watch Tyler work an item. So that's, that's a great way to get into that if you're wanting to have more exposure to item. We have new episodes this week of The Hacks and of Salt Air. So don't miss those. The Hacks is on anywhere you listen to a podcast. Um, it's also actually on saltproject.io. If you go to the little tab at the top for the podcast for The Hacks. Um, but of course it's on Spotify. It's on Apple, um, what is that? Apple Music. I'm sorry, I'm an Android user. So <laughs> it's Apple Music, I think it is. Um, maybe a Apple person. Wherever you get your podcast. Wherever you get your a lot podcast. of ways, right? <laughs> Many Wherever places. you get your podcast, please find us there. <laughs> We're everywhere. We are everywhere. So check out your hacks episode. And Salt Air is on our YouTube channel. So you can catch us on YouTube. Okay. And. Get used to it. I'm going to say this for a few more weeks, but store.saltstack.com. We still have some salt stack swag and we will for probably the next, at least the next month or so. But once it's gone, it's gone. So it is still there. It'll be there for a bit. Almost everything is 60 to 80% off, except for the really cool tumbler that Sage is showing right now. Because <laughs> that one's going to stick around. That one's staying. Um, but it's really but it's worth it. That's really, it's a good tumbler got Tom's face on it so it's pretty cool <laughs> and all his hatches and all his little phrases my favorite yeah. and you can quote me on that <laughs> that's a good one I think my favorite hatchism is the black plague was very successful that's my favorite oh my they're <laughs> 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 good ones but there's a lot of good stuff on there um yeah I mean there's Patagonia sweaters and stuff like 80, 60, 80% off. Um, and again, the Death Star poster is two bucks. Those were crazy popular last year on May the 4th. So um, yeah, those were just flying. We had to order like hundreds more every few weeks. It was crazy. So very popular. Yes. If you haven't gotten your Death Star poster, get it. We've got some sweet pens. I'll get things. Stickers, yeah. And the stickers. Yeah, and when the stickers are gone, they're gone. We're not bringing those stickers back. So grab your stickers. Oh, Sage is showing up. I, I got all of these. I hope <laughs> I got all of these. I think I did. Those are good ones. You have to make friends with Sage if you want Salty Girl stickers. <laughs> okay, dates for SaltConf as we've I will keep reminding you all year long, November 3rd and 4th, but I have some new news. Our call for speakers will be open from June 7th to July 19th. So mark your calendars. We really, really want to prioritize content from our um, community members, from our users, from our contributors. So if you are interested, please reach out. Um, we will have a link for that submission. So our call for speakers will be open June 7th to July 19th. So obviously plan your summer vacations around this because it's that important. <laughs> um, and we're very excited. So really looking forward to getting a lot of submissions from the community um, and can't wait to see what Nick Hughes submits for us. So just to put all the pressure on him. I enjoy doing that. Or Cody. And definitely Cody. I high expectations of Cody. Um, I am looking through who's here. We've got Barney and Mark and Andrew, and there's really that's my phone. Don't don't mind my, my Nintendo ringtone. It was great uh, timing. <laughs> high expectations of everyone here. It'll be great. Um, Nick says in the chat that he's definitely going to submit something with pictures of Tom. So I'm excited about it. Good things. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over to Sage if she has any release timeline updates. 
Yes, so we have set a date. It will be May 19th. Um, a lot of the reason for that is that we did have two more issues come in last week. Uh, they didn't come in. We actually got them triaged. Um, and I got through triage with a lot of help from many of you. Um, kudos to many of you on this call, especially Gary. Thank you. Thank you. And we, um, we did find some things that we wanted to go ahead and fix. Plus, PyCon is next week into, I, I think it's the 12th through the, is it through the 19th? Or is it just the 18th? I, I don't remember now. So um, the 19th is, is the date that we're settled on and um, getting those few things fixed and regressions there. I will put those in the notes. I don't have them handy at the moment, although I do have one of them pinned um, on the repo for SALT. So that is our date. Um, and then uh, we did just decide on that just barely, and I will get a timeline together and uh, try to get that in the notes for today if I can, um, and make sure that we definitely have that next week so you guys have that timeline. Any questions? Cool. Okay. Awesome. So that's all we have for you guys. So the time is yours. Um, any uh, questions, concerns, rebuttals, um, arguments? We, this is your time. So jokes, we accept dad jokes as well, or mom jokes. I don't mom know. Jokes, whatever those are. I, I will give just a couple of updates. We did meet for the native minions and we are going to put out the packages that are current uh, only for enterprise, but we'll make those public source, public source, publicly available on open source. And that'll be on repo.cellproject.io this week. New packages and, and releases will be coming and you'll find those on repo, just like you um, find all the other packages. We are also working to make the docs available. That is gonna take us a little bit more time, but we are working towards that and that should be coming. Um, we will probably host those. I think we've decided to host those on GitLab pages for now um, until we get them into the new install docs, um, which is also in GitLab but they will be made available eventually. We'll give some details on that soon. Delta Proxy is definitely set to be released with silicone um, and uh, along with um, anything else that, that's been open source that we can do. We do actually have the ability to put Windows agentless into open source. We don't see that's really being used very much. So it's kind of lower priority. It's been downloaded like, what was it, five times? ever. It's just not used very much. So that one's not <laughs> taking a ton of priority right now. So, but we will open source what we've got. It is only in Python 2 at the moment. So it needs a lot of work in order to uh, come over into the open source land. So, um, but we will work towards that and there'll be more about that soon. Um, the Scrum of Scrums for the Friday planning meeting is this uh, Friday, if the captains can make it, I will just announce that here. If that time isn't working for people, we'll look at it another time. And uh, we will probably publish some notes about what comes uh, like an artifact from that, just to try to gain some transparency and visibility to the entire community there. Um, and the security working group has their first meeting on the calendar. It will be Monday, 9 a.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. UTC, Barney has so graciously stepped up to that and is giving us just tons of his time there. And we are gonna meet for our first meeting on Monday. Please join us. In the notes, I'll have the Zoom link. It is on the calendar. Those are all my things. And I'll get those in the notes. I'm excited about that security working group that we've been talking about that for a while. And um, I know Barney's really passionate about it. So I'm excited to see that come about and maybe get a blog out about that. Or something. So, yeah. And I, I did want to say too, I joined a little bit late, but uh, there's going to be the docs clinic Twitch later today, but that's, um, I'll be canceling that. But I will, in the meantime, I'll be working actually on sanitizing and, and prepping the native minion docs for their transition. Um, and so, so that'll be cool. It's, it's just seeing where we can get that figured out. And like Sage was mentioning, we have the salt install guide repo that um, is sort of similar to how the SALT user guide works, except it's a, a major focus on, you know, SALT version life cycle and, and, a lot of, and a lot of other stuff, including the native minion installation docs, which will be going there. Um, so I'll be working on that and uh, 
uh, just not not live since since it's trying to get that out of uh, some private uh, repos into the public sphere. So it's a secret. Just kidding. Secret until it isn't. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no thanks, Derek and Sage did have your back on that and corrected me. So we we, we will be canceled. So we fix that. Um, and Andrew said in the chat that he's really curious to learn more about agentless windows. Okay, yeah, you'll be seeing all that. It was released, it was worked on back in SALT version 2017. So that's probably around how old the code is. And that's, uh, but you know, if it, if people want to take it on and, uh, but what's interesting too, is to keep an eye on heist and uh, heist SALT work um because there's some uh, interesting stuff going on on that side of the fence too which may be of benefit yeah. since uh, yeah so heist is um is a dissolvable ssh minion um and um although it can be persistent so it's it's tunneling ssh um it's pretty cool uh, there are some docs out there for um and read the docs.io if you want to read about heist um, and that is being worked. And so as we're looking at moving agentless windows, that's really out of date code and we're working on heist, I kind of just asked the question that I was like, but we're making heist work for windows. So how does that, do those miss each other? Or do they go together? I don't know. And so we, we kind of need to talk about that a little bit. And maybe heist is um, just different and we still need to do both. And that is, that may be the case. I don't actually know the answer to that question, but that will, we will, we'll discover that and try to give you guys more information there. It was only a, um, an offering for enterprise customers, but I don't know that it was used a lot since it only got downloaded five times. <laughs> there are some, um, total side note, there's some fun background details on why Heist was named Heist in oh yes salt air episodes so oh. some of some people already know this but it is in salt air if you want to check that out and find out the secrets it's kind of fun it heist was not its original name no it wasn't but that's what we call it now <laughs> that's right <laughs> so, watch salt air lots of fun um tom drops a lot of those little tidbits in there a good time um, also, Derek, I love your shirt. Salt comp. Excited about salt comp. Should be good. Other questions from the group? Or anything anybody wants to bring up? SEPs? I, I am actually like going to... to... Go ahead. Is there anything you'd like to see us doing differently? Things you just love the way we do. Um, anything you'd like to see different in um, like Slack and the way interactions happen or um, how we run open hour, anything at all. Like this is your time to give us feedback, so. Oh, a side note I'd like to make too is uh, in the documentation channel of the um, SaltStack community workspace, Slack workspace, uh, there has been an, uh, Imran dropped a note on some pretty cool experimental stuff they're doing with the uh, salt formulas documentation is he's taking an approach to co combining all of the distributed docs into a single web portal. I'm um, using it, all, it uses something called Entoro, which is normally tailored toward ASCII doc doc sets, but he's doing a lot of clever stuff in converting um, their, their documentation sets to be compatible with it. So it looks really, it looks, it's really interesting to see that approach. And um, so drop into that documentation channel, check out the links. If you use some formulas um, or just want to see, because there's just a lot, they have so many repositories and so much, do, uh, so many docs. Um, so it'd be kind of cool just to go, go take a look. Uh, I know that right now, I think he's still trying to figure out how to approach um, you know, the docs that exist inside of doc strings because Sphinx does some extra magic to convert that out. You can't simply convert. It's not as easy to simply get that into something that's ASCII doc compatible. I 
Yeah, and something else that happened in the, the documentation channel is um, trying to get, uh, we do not have a dedicated technical writer. We had Derek, but Derek's really an SRE. So we made sure to make him an SRE. He's all about tooling and automation and that's really his role. So having uh, lots of people review uh, the MRs and the PRs that are out there for documentation, um, a lot of you really are some of the experts there and we would love to have your review on those. In fact, I'd love to have more reviews on just sort of the salt code base and PRs that are there as well. Because some of you bring something that we just don't have on the core team and the way that you're using salt and can review those in a way that just brings much more depth and breadth to those those reviews. So um, definitely looking for, for more of that. Um, Elias just posted a bunch of his docs only PRs that um, he just rebased. Love to have some reviews on those. I don't I have no idea what they are. So um, we'll have to go look. <laughs> I'll be looking at those later for sure. And um, would like to see that happen more, especially in the working groups. And if we need to put some expectations, like Gary was saying, into our working groups to say, hey, you guys should be reviewing each other's PRs and doing some peer review here, then uh, we will. Um, hoping to get that detail of expectations into working groups very, very soon and um, love it. Just think it's great. Hopefully make you guys a little more um, able to help each other. Right? Yeah, and, and for those docs inside of like the SALT user guide or install guide, if there's a MR that's been reviewed by a community member, you can tag me to, to just, I ha I'm one of the people who has merge powers, superpowers, so. Um, if it's, if it's been reviewed ahead of time and I, I could just go take a quick scan and make sure you're not talking garbage in the docs, trying to trick me. I don't know what you're up to Gary. So then I'll, uh, then I, I, I may approve and merge it. You know, it was really interesting since we have time. I'll just mention this, Gary. I went to go look at vault versions. They've got so many versions. That was like. What it's versions agile, do you right? support? Right. They have so many versions. Well, and I was like, and how do these work? Because they're all one point something. And I'm like, they haven't even been around that long. So what are these? And it was just such an interesting thing to go look at because their their versioning for, for HashiCorp Vault is like they they release a lot. They're really, really agile, but they they also make big changes between like 5.5.4 and like you know, one point or one point. 5.4 and 1.7.3. There's this huge changes between those major releases. It was really interesting to go look at that after we looked at that issue in triage. I was like, wow, how did they do this? It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it should probably be split out into an extension because it, it moves pretty quick. Right? It moves fast. Maybe we should. Hmm. So that's a really know. loaded word, Sage. Interesting. It's very interesting. <laughs> I'm going to leave it that way. <laughs> it's, it's good. <laughs> we were surprised because Gareth was asking me, he's like, so what do we support? And I was like, I don't know. Let's go look at what they've got. And I was like, what in the world is this? <laughs> well, so, so that was difficult to figure out. <laughs> that was after a full day of me going through various it's versions of vaults and seeing, okay, what works? What doesn't? Why did they change this? My God, what did you do here? <laughs> right? I don't know if anybody else feels this way, but we were like, wow, hmm, interesting. <laughs> that's, why we need the nice, that's why we need the nice layer of salt abstraction so we don't have to deal with the changes directly. True, true. Yeah, anything else anybody wants to bring up? Yeah, we are all ears. Is there, um, is there a, a MAC uh, subgroup or monthly or weekly yes. meeting? Yeah, they meet monthly the same uh, Tuesday that the Windows group meets. Is it the second or the third? Let me look. It's the third Tuesday of the month. So their next one is the 18th and they meet at 11.30 a.m. Mountain or 5.30 UTC for an hour. They, 
I asked the captain about this, Wes, because we do it on the third Tuesday of the month. And that's also when Apple always has announcements and events. And so we often cancel. <laughs> so I thought maybe we should pick another day. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be the third one. We can pick another one. Yeah. He didn't respond to that, I don't think. But um, they do have a, a project board out there too, Andrew. Um, I, I can grab it. And they're pretty active. Um, go find it. They're an active group and they're definitely active on the channel or um, in Slack. Okay. Um, yeah, while you're grabbing that stage for Andrew, um, that reminded me, and I probably should have said this earlier, tomorrow, um, the working group captains, and they already know this, are invited to our um, planning meeting. Our planning meeting, yeah. Yeah, I almost said stand up, but whatever. <laughs> our, our planning <laughs> meeting um, tomorrow morning. So um, if any of the working group captains miss that or forgot or um, whatever, reach out to Sage or me. We'll make sure you're on that meeting. Um, but yeah, we've, Sage was on top of reaching out to all of them and getting them invited because we're gonna, gonna connect, so. No, that'd be awesome, thank you. Um, I'm trying to figure out now that, uh, you, well, as Matt continues to lock down uh, permissions and, and general um, admin rights on the, you know, the, the OS, I'm trying to figure out how uh, or if SALT is going to be addressing rolling in an MDM service like micro MDM or something similar in order to deal with deploying profiles. So that's uh, certainly something I'd like to talk about on that meeting. It, um, that's an interesting thing. We've talked about MDM stuff with that group a couple of times and just whatever it is that they're using. And they, um, I don't know that we've, I don't know that we've gotten much further than just sort of bringing up the topic. We probably should dive into it deeper. Cool. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. And can tooling like that potentially be a candidate for a salt extension or salt yeah. extensions too? I was thinking if there's a way to create the um, installation of the original micro MDM. Uh, I mean, we're just pulling it from a repo is not a big deal. So setting it up and getting some of the initial logic going on a server might be a candidate for at least in my group that I'm, uh, you know, where I'm at to create a, a execution module for um, just to make it easier for deploying. But I'm still working through some of the initial steps. So I'm, I'm in very, very early research stage right now. Got it. I also noticed, I mean, I don't have much experience with the Mac working group or, or the, or Macs in general, but I noticed since inside that, uh, what I, I didn't know about until I was just looking inside the Mac channel is they have a pin at the top with the description references like a community, someone, uh, what their user, their handles Mosin on GitHub. So they have a salt osx repo of uh custom grains and modules and stuff and i'm wondering i wonder if that was made it looks like it was last updated in 2020 <laughs> and i'm wondering if some of some of that stuff might be something that also needs to be migrated or, or could benefit from a migration over into a custom salt extension but um yeah it sounds like all cool ideas yeah. mm -hmm. i don't know so how it's 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 no but thank you <laughs> We had talked to those topics are small. <laughs> we had talked in the Mac working group a couple times, a couple months ago, I think, about uh, starting to move. Well, like before, before extensions, salt extensions were um, really a, a thing that we were we were promoting uh, about trying to move a lot of that stuff into like the salt uh, repo, like the main repo, because um, it was kind of like the, the purpose of it was to once you've installed salt on a Mac, these are, are some like tweaks and additional modules and grains as, as you pointed out um, that really make it a better experience. Um, so making it more of like from the get go, like using the official packages and then just having all that stuff available. Um, we kind of, uh, the conversation kind of dropped off um, 
in terms of us doing that. So that's something we could revisit um, in a future future working group meeting. I, I can't wait to show up to the uh, the Mac meeting and uh, and get better at administering Mac through Salt. Yeah, those guys are the experts for sure, and they're super helpful and a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun in that working group. I'll tell you, it's a fun group. They're silly and hilarious, but they also get a ton of work done. <laughs> the one thing that is interesting about that group, um, I think it's primarily all the people that, that regularly attend, they are using SALT in a um, masterless mode. Um, so they don't have a, like we don't, we don't, they don't run and I don't think we officially support running SALT master on, on Mac OS um, and they don't run it on like a Linux server or, or anything. Um, they're primarily running masterless because um, a lot of the devices that they support are, are laptops and mobile devices. Um, so having it having it in a master master traditional salt minion master setup is doesn't really make sense for for devices that aren't always aren't always connected. Yeah, that's um, that's what we're trying to do as well. Uh, not just deal with uh, client servers, but also deal with our traveling um, laptops and. Uh, desktops, whether they be connected partially or, you know, um, so yeah, that's, I'm very happy to hear that. I'll stop rambling. No, you're good. <laughs> They're a fun yeah. group. And they do some interesting stuff for sure. Definitely the experts there. We'll, we'll be glad to have you, Andrew. We're that actually raises, sorry, I was going to say that actually raises an interesting point for me. Um, is there any desire to make salt, salt safe to put on the internet so that you could solve the use case of if you had, you know, traveling laptops and whatnot, and the second they connect to the internet, they connect to a master. I know that's not currently a recommended practice and that you should shield your, your master from the, from the internet. I'm just wondering if, if anyone has ever um, either um, set it up in a way that it's reasonably secure or that, you know, there was some desire to make the code more meaningful to that. I know I'm, I'm interested in the conversation. Right now I work with enough um, highly, you know, high, highly skilled network engineers so that there's some magic of VPN or I don't know, network magicry, which I have <laughs> clearly not well versed on, but um, because we do have so many clients with so many traveling computers or productions that will start and stop for you know months at a time. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see what that would provide that our current solution doesn't right now. I know one of the things that we've been talking about internally, um, I don't know the, the status of it, um, was, was exploring uh, different alternative transport layers beyond zero MQ. Um, ones that would be more secure and would allow a lot more of the, allow you to have your, your salt master, um, lack of a better word, exposed to the internet at large um, to allow more of that stuff to happen securely. Um, we could probably, we can ask and then have more information at the next next open hour, what the, what the status of that is. Yeah, that'd be yeah, awesome. Yeah, something like a, you know, HTTP transport would be, be more zero trust friendly, which is one of the big trends and more cloud friendly, which of course everyone knows is a big trend. So. Yeah, we end up having some of our clients set up um, where their masters are on, uh, there's, it's just cloud available. Um, we obviously don't publish their, <laughs> their DNS to the dark web, but at the same time, you know, if someone's trolling, I'm sure they could find it. So another layer of protection would, you know, just help us uh, deal with clients and make sure data safe. So happy to learn more about that too. No, that sounds great.
All right, anybody have anything else they'd like to bring up? Okay. Well, looks like we can give everybody 20 minutes back in their day. Thank you so much for joining us for open hour. We really value the weekly time we have to connect with everybody and um, update you on what we're doing and hear what things you're curious about and what we can do. Definitely email us at saltproject at vmware.com if there's anything that we can bring up specifically for you um, in advance during the open hour. And as always, we're at saltproject.io and um, reach out to us if you need us in between. Otherwise, we'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Have a good one.